Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to handle schema changes in Azure DataSync. Before going to this, I want to explain that uh, I have configured Azure DataSync from on-premise to Azure. Means the changes are going to reflect from uh, on-premise to Azure. Here I have created one sync group. Okay, in this sync group I have two databases and two tables. Uh, where is that? that uh, I have two tables. Okay. Before going to this, uh, uh, this is uh, this is my on-premise server. Here I'm going to uh, here I have one record in Azure. Also have one record. Okay. Now instead of this, uh, now I'm going to my table. I'm going to select student design. Click on design. Here I have sorry. Here I have a uh, data type uh, worker five for the column name. Okay. Now, now when I select this student table, I have worker 5. Now instead of worker 5, I need to change to 10. Okay. Uh, just copy student. And paste it here. I click execute okay now uh, and click refresh once once after refreshing this uh, click on design still it, uh, okay uh, it, it is the changes got reflected successfully now uh, by default the schema changes will not reflect in Azure data sync okay uh, for example I am inserting one more record here Okay, now go to the portal, sync room, and click sync, and wait for uh, sync uh, synchronization get complete. Once this option will come out from gray out, so then we need to refresh the logs. Up to then we have to wait. Yeah, click refresh. Yes, means one changes got uploaded. Go to hotel and come to admin here. Here we two records. Why uh, means still I have uh, mean still why because one means uh, we are entering the data within five characters only. When it comes to characters let's see okay so the primary uh, oh yes also mm, I need to change that uh, uh, three comma comma Why it is taking our 
uh, oh, yes it is more than 10 characters right yes let me enter this yeah now i have entered more than five character more than five characters why because in a in on premise i have in on premise i have 10 characters but when when it comes to hazard it have five characters only but when i when i try to sync here here we get we will get in some error that sync get fail sync provision get fail see here when you place the cluster at the end of the line it will show you the exemption that uh, uh, bulk command for the table would be rolled back uh, so the process was dead lag so I mean this type of uh, errors you, uh, you will face that when you have the scale uh, when you have performed the changes in the scheme when you perform the changes in the table so before going to uh, these changes first of all the best practice is you have to manually alter the ch ch schema changes in the other destination table okay let me do that uh, go to this table this is the command copy that and go to here and paste it here yes now that are the two sides of the tape databases either from other premise or azure the schema changes are very i mean the schema changes are very same and schema schemas are identical now when i trigger the thing i mean the sync i mean we don't get errors but we will get warnings why because the sync information uh, what are the changes we perform that don't uh, this information is not updated in the meta database so that is why when we run health checker so it will show that uh, still it is having in 10 database uh, uh, what is the worker is 10 and it is having in azure is 5 means it will show you the warning only click refresh logs oh this nice so uh, again get this thing got failed no problem so just come here why it is selecting on premise just remove that table click yes Yes, click string, click refresh logs. Okay, so come here. Add it back. One singer is successful. Okay. Uh, click sync again click refresh logs so click refresh logs once again So here we are getting error. Okay, no problem. Uh, so once we type, uh, once we get these type of errors, uh, first of all remove the tape. Um,
go to this server sorry enter table name data dbo sorry students right now okay now execute this we don't have any file okay copy the same Yes, table is not there. Okay, very good. Click on sync. Okay, now click on refresh. Oh, sorry, click on sync. Yes, uh, now the three changes got applied. Go to the portal here. Mm. Both are the same. Now go to the respect to database. Select a database and click new query. Now you can see the three records. Okay, this is the uh, this is apply for the same methods like uh, if you want to change the column name or you uh, if you want to delete that column name. So the procedure is the same for all for all the things okay uh, hope you like this video thank you